I saw Tim's note. So, um, all right, uh, let's call the meeting to order. Um, Alexis, can we take the roll? Yep. Um, I I have everyone here, and the only folks that I have absent are um, Chairman Norris, uh, Todd Barflew, and Jacob Nadeau. Are they still technically on the committee? Do we know? I do not know. I don't think I've ever seen Todd at a meeting. Because I think they're on the website. I don't know if they're officially off or not. I don't, I don't know. know okay. Yeah, I was going to say I would follow up with Tim, but I don't. Was this going to be Tim's last meeting? Yeah, I think, I think so. so. June, Darren, I think in June. Oh, June. Okay, so one more. Okay. Okay, I'll follow up next meeting. But I have everyone for the roll call. Okay. All right. Um, did everyone have a chance to look at the minutes from April's meeting? Any concerns? The one, the one thing I was going to ask, and I know maybe it's just not protocol, but is there a way we could get the minutes closer to the meeting as opposed to in the next month's packet? Because, you know, sometimes you'll look at them and it's been a month and you're like, I, I don't remember what that was about or, you know, I don't know if that's I even think, feasible. Is it easier to copy the committee when I see it sent below? Okay. Yeah, that, at least for me, that would be helpful because sometimes after a month, I'm, you know, I forgot what we really talked about and that kind of thing. Yeah, I usually get them um, like the week after the meeting to her. So I'll just copy the committee members and send them over. All right, cool. All right, um, motion to approve? Yes. I move that we approve the minutes as read. All in favor? All right. Um, old business. Any updates on budget? Well, budget, you're still at five thousand. Um, I, I, you know, I did get some pricing on benches, uh, benches and things. Um, so I get, I guess it's uh, where you want to go with it. I don't know if Karen Laplante reached out to you guys from the cultural arts. She was, uh, she had some ideas for a few things. I hadn't heard anything. I don't know if maybe Tim did or anyone else, but I have not heard anything from cultural arts. Okay. Um, do you want me to give you a little rundown on the, what I got for pricing on the metal benches? Yes. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Um, I, I can't believe the price of them, but I, I looked at some other pricing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably three years ago, you get brought a, bought a big uh, metal bench and then you bought some smaller ones, which were a lot cheaper. But, um, uh, you know, a heavy duty six foot metal bench is $1,129 each. An eight foot bench is $1,319. And then they're shipping on these. Um, I know um, there were some questions on... Uh, Lafayette Park when you know if that was still moving forward and that is and that is to be you know open at some time this year and I know I threw out there the, the bocce court that the Friends of the Senior Center wanted to put in that hasn't been started um, but that's something that's going to be going on too and but there's still a lot of other parks in town that you know the benches are in you know need of you know replacement or things like that but that's what I got that, you know with that and the only other thing somebody threw out to me, and, um, and like I said, price on everything is crazy because uh, they threw out some of the metal trash cans on Pearl Street, uh, or, or say, yeah, Pearl Street, uh, were in need of replacement, but they're like $900 a piece. So I don't think that's, uh, I don't know what you guys want to do, but uh, that's up to you guys. <laughs> the the benches are, the park benches are sort of decorative benches, or they're like the sports benches, or what? These are a metal, like iron, uh, kind of a decorative bench. Yes, more of that than a sports bench with the back. And um, okay. they do have some, you know, that they do come with uh, a center armrest. If you're concerned about people sleeping on them, somebody has threw, threw that out there at me. You know, that's an additional charge. But um, they're, they're a nice decorative bench that will last, you know, 
probably 30 years. Do they, say, do they say Enfield, Connecticut on them the way our other benches do? Um, these yeah. ones don't. Those are available. Those are, um, you know, probably a little over $1,400 a piece, but they do have them that say, you know, welcome to Enfield or just Enfield in the back. Is that something you guys purchased? Uh, oh, it was probably it was probably three or four years ago. Uh, I think that was in 2017, 2017 Ken, yeah, 20, and they're currently. Yeah, 2017, yeah. It was actually, yeah, it was uh, $1,479. Um, a piece for them then so it's probably a little bit more now but i mean that's that's your guys call i, I like the ones that say um um the enfield connecticut on them i thought that they um that the ones that we bought that said that looked really nice Plus, if anyone tries to take them, you know where they got them from. <laughs> That's right. When we find them in Chicopee, then we'll know. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. So, la next month is our last meeting before budget is done. So, we need to um, make some decisions on spending that additional five thousand dollars between this meeting and next okay so we have the the benches is is one concept we have the um landscaping around the new bocce court at the senior center um, or actually that would probably be there excuse me darren that would probably be a playground if you were going to do a playground um because of the the mulch it's basically to keep the mulch in but that, that, that's around about $2,200 or so, depending on the size of the playground or the, okay. you know, like a carbon fiber. Um. All right. Um, thoughts on any of those projects or if there's any other projects anyone else wanted to introduce? Go ahead, Roberta. I, I was wondering if um, we could, um, because of the train station and everything, if we could buy another map for the train station. You know, like a, it didn't have to be a map. It could be like a picture of the original building that was there and um, put it right near new, the new train station. Or is that premature? I don't think the location is really going to work well right now. Um, because the, the area is fenced in, um, there's not a lot of room over there. I just, I just don't think that people are gonna really see it, you know, at this time. Okay. And just That's just my, my thoughts. It's a good idea for a future project. Next week budget. What was the project at the senior center again that we discussed? Um, does anyone know off offhand without me going back into? Yes, um, actually, I brought it forward, Deb. Uh, they're uh, the friends of the senior center. Are they're buying material to put bocce courts in there? Um, the buildings and grounds will be um, building them and installing them. Um, they haven't started the project yet because they just have so much going on. They're pretty thin and everything going on, you know. With the buildings moved and uh, grass is grown in the in the fields are are in desperate need for of attention too, so they're pretty thin. But they're going to be installing that um, at some point. Was that something we were going to fund as well? I remember a split between funds we discussed last meeting between Senior Center and Lafayette. Yeah, I think we were talking about benches. If we if we wanted to put, you know, a bench there or a bench at Lafayette or you know whatever you guys wanted to do with that. And what about the new Splash Park? Is that moving forward? And is there a need for anything there? That is moving forward. Um, I'm not sure of all the details, but I'm um, I'm sure uh, a parent or two would uh, enjoy a bench or so. But I'm not sure if that's part of the design that's already in there or not. 
So I'm, I'm not directly involved with that, that you know. Okay. Operation. So, so if we wanted to, um, maybe we don't formally vote without Tim. We'll wait for our next meeting, but sort of have the concept of um, looking at a number of these benches. I mean, it sounds like if we wanted to go with the infield design, we could get about three of the benches um, at roughly fifteen hundred dollars a pop, and then not necessarily allocate where they're going to go yet until we kind of confirm some of that, whether it's Lafayette or the senior center or the new splash park or some other park. Um, I mean, the bench is the bench, regardless of the lo location, I would think. I, I think that's a great idea. And that way we, we will have um, utilized the money in a good way. And it gives us flexibility about which way, which one we're going to fund in the near future. I think that's a great idea, Dan. It sounds yes, like now. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just have to confirm the price. I just have to confirm the yep. pricing on that with the shipping because uh, they were close. Uh, you know, if it stays around the same price, we're good. You know, we're okay. three with the shipping. We're we're under, we're under our five thousand. So um, let me just uh, confirm the pricing on that. I can get that out to you guys. All right. Sorry, Deb. <laughs> No, that's okay. That was what I was going to say. The three benches with shipping um, looks like it would put us right where we need to be, and those would be worthy projects. Yeah. Okay. Um, adopt a spot. Anything yes. You want yeah. Yep, I have it here. So uh, I've seen the most activity in terms of interest with uh, the adopt a spot program um, more than I've ever seen being on this committee. Um, I know I reported last meeting that there has not been much activity, but um, we have had people come forward. So um, I've been in touch with one individual. I am due to make another call um, again. I will try and do that tomorrow. Um, so that's great news. I've communicated all of the spots that are available, all that we have identified anyway, and that are listed on our website. Um, I know that we also consider sites that are brought forward if we do have, if that property is town owned and, um, you know, um, meets all the requirements that we put forth. Um, so. You know, we, we know that, but I found that uh, that interested people really want, you know, some recommendations. So I don't know, Ken, if it would be helpful to maybe review again our maps. I know we did that once um, or twice before, but since these spots are being taken, it might be helpful to identify some more and put them up on our website now that we have the interest. Yeah, Deb, I'd be glad to, um, you know, go one on one with you and uh, figure out what we have out there. Um, what maybe it's not being used. Um, um, I was a little disappointed on the one, the newest one on Fairview. I don't know if you've seen it. Um, I have not. Yeah, um, cause they, they haven't really done much, much with it. Um, I'm not sure really what's going on with that. I did meet the individual out there. I, you know, we did put the signage out there because it was, you know, recognition of somebody that, you know, died in a, you know, uh, an accident. Um, but um, that's, that's well, that. Ken, I'm going to, on a positive note, um, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to be Debbie Downer. No, 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 that, that's, that's, that's fine. I mean, that's, that's real, but, um, you know, if we take a look at, uh, you know, the, the threat of frost, I have always been told that May 15th is the date. So um, maybe, you know, we want to be really sure that, you know, there's no danger of frost in losing any plants. So there's still time. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> positive outlook. Positive outlook. Oh, nice. Um, so that's really it, and I just wanted to publicly thank all of our participants uh, for their interest and for uh, beautifying these spots. It's a real exciting time of the year to see everything growing. Great. Maybe this year, um, I know that it was very well received um, when the time that we went to the town council, and I suggest in maybe September or October, at the latest that we recognize um, those people again. Because it's good publicity, I think. 
Yeah, I think that uh, was our intent to continue with that recognition. We all of us have been thrown off a bit uh, with the pandemic, but yeah, I agree with you, Roberta. Okay. Um, clean sweep, not much to update. Um, we decided last meeting to go with September 18th as the date. Um, we'll, you know, start to advertise, promote, look for volunteers. Um, I didn't see it in the minutes, Alexis, but do we have contact information for the woman that was on the call last week from that church group? Because I wanted to reach out to her as well offline about their participation, but I didn't. I do have her email as well. I could send her email if you need it. Okay, Darren, I'm sorry. Are you referring yeah. to um, the church, Tracy? Tracy? Tracy yes, yeah. I had been in contact, email contact with her. Yes, and I'm not sure if any paperwork has been filed yet, but uh, we've been in communication. She is interested. Yeah, and I didn't put them in the minutes, but they were in the old meeting notes, so I can send it out to everyone too. Okay, that works. All right, um, questions on any of that? If not, we'll move to Garden Club. Nancy, did you want to start? Well, um, hello. <laughs> um, hello. <laughs> um, I guess Carolyn has been talking about her idea uh, about, Carolyn, you probably should tell them your idea because it's your idea <laughs> go ahead well, and i'll listen the, <laughs> um i had a thought last week last month when we met and you were talking possibly about looking into landscaping over at the bocce ball court that um we do not spend in our budget that you people allow give to us all of the funds. Um, we will probably do better this year because they didn't realize that they had the whole year to spend that. But we still may end up with uh, approximately $1,000 or a little more. Um, my suggestion was uh, to offer that back to um, the to the beautification committee to to help spend on, on other uh, uh, maybe to help finish a project or or for landscaping that um, you know you were going to uh, undertake at uh, another site. Uh, however, um, we did propose it to uh, the club's uh, last meeting. Uh, we were interrupted with a rainstorm, so we really didn't get to talk it through. Um, we need to get um, a positive vote in order to do that. Uh, the other thing is, is that uh, if we do return that for you to uh, be able to use this year, um, we would uh, not be, we would not um, be able to, one, plant the flowers, two, uh, we wouldn't uh, take and be responsible for any of the landscaping, and we really wouldn't be able to pick it up. Uh, our club, although we have some new members, is mostly elderly. And uh, we just can't take on any more as far as maintaining. But uh, we would like to be able to help if we do not use all of our funds. Um, so I would like to be able to get back to you uh, as soon as we do have that meeting and let you know uh, what funds are available and see if there is something that you um, might be able to, uh, you know, put it forth uh, to beautify our town some more. One, one, okay, I, I was just going to say one suggestion that um, Carolyn had that was 
that we investigated is we went to Garden's Dream. And Garden's Dream, of course, works with the town. And um, we thought if we, we had another $1,000 left over, we could purchase trees for the bocce ball court from the garden club, but it would be to, the, to benefit the, uh, you know, the bocce ball court. And we asked them if we purchased the trees before the end of June, would they hold them for us until time to plant them? But they wouldn't. They wouldn't do that. Don't so hold them for two weeks. Two weeks is all. So, I mean, that was just a thought so that those funds could be still used to, um, you know, purchase something like a tree at, for the senior center bocce ball court. That was the idea. I don't know bocce ball that well, but would a tree impact the court? <laughs> well, no, I'm not Get in the, the court, but I'm oh. <laughs> on the edge of it. If you have benches, you'll have a bench on, you know, one side or the other side and maybe a tree when it when is time to plant do you mean the season of the year or when the courts are built is it when the courts are built oh, okay okay i know there was a planting time to plant time to sow you know the old song <laughs> I, I, i've never seen trees around bocce courts but i mean it doesn't have to be a tree it could be a shrub it could be oh. you know um something that comes back every year the only thing is is that like i said to be able to go and pick up a thousand dollars worth of plants is not something we're capable of doing and the other thing is is if we did it before year end uh, before June um, 25th, I guess, is when Lois is looking for all the paperwork. Uh, we have no place to store it until the bocce court is, fi is uh, finished. I don't know when that's going to be. And can oh, go ahead. We, we wouldn't be able to maintain it because we don't have the people. So when we allocate two thousand for Garden Club, are we just cutting them a check for two thousand dollars at the beginning of the year, or are we like reimbursing no, 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 as they no. buy things? We are getting two purchase orders. One um, from Home Depot for five hundred was requested last year, and one for fifteen hundred at Garden Dream. Yeah, the the town, you know, we can assist with, you know, picking and picking up the trees or, you know, flowered plants or whatever it was, and help, um, you know, in, install them if that's the case. Um, um, you know, um, I'm I, I'm gonna try to find out more, you know, if that project's starting or it's gonna start, you know, before then. So, and even if we have a layout of the area where it's actually going. We could actually plant before the bocce courts are in if we wanted to, you know, spruce up the area. Okay, just, that would be awesome. Yeah, but like I said, planting trees or stuff like that, you know, we can definitely assist. We have the, the equipment and uh, just find the time, but that's something we can do. One other question I did have um, with Garden Dream is it is Garden Dream and Home Depot are those really the only two places that the garden club can get purchase orders for? Does it have to be a nursery within Enfield? I know we like to support our own people. Um, I, 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 I don't know how that all came about or what the rules are for that. Um, yeah, stuff can be purchased out of town. Uh, we just have to have a, an account open with, uh, there's a, you know, a new vendor or something with the W9 paperwork and all, but that's, you know, that's something that we, you know, we, we do all the time with different vendors where, you know, things that we can't get what we need in town, uh, we look elsewhere, but that could be done. It could be spent, you know, any reputable business. Did I hear okay, Tarnow so was coming back or is back? There, there's something. Back. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yeah. they're open. Because sometimes you go to one nursery and, you know, like like a garden dream, and I can understand their, you know, um, 
hesitation as far as holding things because then they become responsible for them, um, you know, after we've purchased them. But uh, what if we were able to take and go to another nursery and they may be more open to holding you know we would use that whatever the balance is on that purchase order um to purchase the items but they would hold them until whatever project we're trying to help with would be ready to actually use them so that was my the reason i asked that question is if it had to be uh you know garden dream or could we uh, negotiate with another uh, nursery to see if they may, uh, you know, do better by us. Is that something the town would do? Would that be something you would do? Uh, we um, would well, come to you with the with the name and the person to talk to. Yeah, uh, so we could open would... an account. Yeah, yeah. If you um, you know went to them and you you talked to them and there's something you wanted to proceed, uh, we could uh, you know. Take, you know, get the W-9 forms, get everything we need to to actually have them be a vendor for the town. So that's that's something we would do once you guys make your connection, if it's something that works for you. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. But um, with getting back to the Bocce Court, um, would, uh, be, uh, because it would be in conjunction with you, would we need to notify you when we go to, to purchase um, the uh, landscaping for that um, is that the, yeah. does do you would you know from the plans what they're looking for? Um, I do not know, and um, I'm going to have to find out what the actual plans are for the bocce court. But um, um, you know, it's something we can we can discuss. You know, you know, with just the beautification committee. You know, what works for you know both of us. Okay. Uh, we would, uh, because everything is so short in time, um, we just have really uh, next month <laughs> because uh, it ends on June 30th is the end of the budget, and that $1,000 from this year would be going back to the town. Yeah, and that's not what, yeah, we're, you know. So that's, <laughs> that's what you think you'll have left over is $1,000 roughly? approximately a thousand dollars yes okay darren could i th say that um that um i think that we should not let it go back because we had that trouble before mm -hmm. and i right. think um that ken, we should take ken up on his kind generous offer and and purchase um the trees or bushes or whatever you think it is needed and have and store them and have the town plant them but we could buy the bushes or the trees or whatever now and take Ken up on a kind offer. Yes, I, I, I totally agree. I will have a better uh, understanding um, after Memorial Day because I know that some of our people have not bought their spring flowers just yet. So I'll have a, an exact figure after... <laughs> Memorial Day that I can send to you so we know exactly what we're looking at to get an idea, you know, of what we have to spend, left to spend. Um, for the yeah, so if you want to reach out to me after that, then we can come up with a plan, you know. Okay, and can I just ask who this is? I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's Ken Bullett. Oh, Ken. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, I have a question, and that is... If we go ahead and, and if the club um, agrees to do this, um, wouldn't we have to get together with whoever's planning this bocce court before we go out and spend the money on some sort of bushes or whatever? We have to know what their plan is, where it'll be, what it's going to look like, how much land will be used, you know, be and what their plan is. So who who's responsible for that? Are you Ken? To, Are I you? Would have to, I would have to coordinate with Mark Gar because uh, he's the one that is um, that's you know putting them in there and things. But you know, we can have a meeting on site, take a look at it, and see what works best for us all. 
Right. So we could be four if, if we get this money and we would only have a couple of weeks to do this, we could all go there, look at the, and we could then buy the appropriate bushes or, you know, bulbs, yep. flowers, whatever, and hold them. Okay. Yep. Good. That'll work. Good. Good. Okay. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Um, any new business tonight? I guess the only new business is, is uh, you know, we need some additional members if those two folks who might not be on anymore are not, as well as Tim. Um, you know, we'd love to have some more voices in the crowd here. So um, whatever we can do to drum up some additional membership would be great. Okay. Um, anything else for the good of the group here? Before I had something we... to miscellaneous. Yeah, sure. Um, Deb had asked uh, about the area across from Diana's Bakery and uh, where the trees were uprooting and um, seeing how they moved out of town. I know they did, uh, they did the buildings and grounds did a, a, some mulch around a couple trees by the parking lot, by the initial parking lot. And um, I did uh, have engineering confirm that most of that area in that strip between the sidewalk and, that, and Diana's old parking lot, Deb, is town. So we're going to be doing something with mulch there to spruce that up. All right. It's great to hear. Thanks, Ken. Yep. I haven't forgotten. It's uh, definitely. <laughs> I was not worried. I yeah, did Deb see look, the Deb mulch. looks happy. I yes. saw the mulch by the parking lot um, yeah. there, and it looks great. So yes. uh, yeah, yeah, I'm I know that, there. yeah, and uh, it's on a town manager's radar too, because uh, he's just trying to clean that area up, make it a little, you know, a little nicer too. So it's moving forward. Excellent. All right. If nothing else, do we have a motion to adjourn tonight? I'll make the motion to adjourn. All right. All right. Thanks everyone for uh, for attending. We'll talk again next month. Thank you everyone. Bye, everyone. This is Joe Muller. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.